Hey guys, my name is Jean, I'm a growth hacking trainer and the LinkedIn expert here at Growthstripe. In this video, we're going to explain how you can get your LinkedIn game to the next level with tips, tricks, tools and hacks to shine on my favorite platform. Before we get started, don't forget to download our LinkedIn optimization guide at this link, packed with even more tips and tricks. Did you know that LinkedIn is about to reach 600 million users around the world and that 260 million of those users are monthly active on the platform? Whether you are in B2B or B2C, HubSpot found that LinkedIn is 277% more effective at generating leads than Facebook or Twitter. So how can you take advantage of this? Let's kick it off with three cool tools that you can use to have a nice overview of what you should change on your profile. The first one is LinkedIn review tool from Resume Worded. First step is to go on your LinkedIn profile and download the PDF version of it by by clicking on the more button. You then upload your PDF on the website and voila! Resume Worded will dissect your profile and tell you insights on what needs to be improved. This one is an awesome gem and thanks to them for creating such a nifty tool. The second one is a tool developed by LinkedIn Sales Solutions. This tool allows you to see your social selling index. Compare yourself to people in your industry or network and start taking action on the things that you should improve. What about your profile picture? Do you think it's professional enough? I use photo filter to see what people really think about my photo. Do I look likable, competent, influential? Rate around 30 pictures to get karma and get some qualitative data on what people think of your profile picture. Want a better understanding of your LinkedIn efforts? Shield Analytics gives you a deep dive into your LinkedIn data. Dashboards with average views, likes, comments, posting times, etc. Everything to optimize your posting content strategy on LinkedIn. By the way, how does the algorithm distribute your content when you post? on the platform. LinkedIn reports that 60% of engagements in 2018 came from the top 1% influencers. That's a huge problem that they've decided to tackle this year and that's good for all of us. First, the algorithm classifies your content into one of these three categories. Spam, low quality and good to go. How does you rate your content in 2019? If a like represents one point, a comment is 10 and a share is 100. So think clearly about how you want people to engage with your content while you're producing it. Phase one, when published, LinkedIn says your post to a small random collection of first degree connections. Here your post is displayed temporarily. A good engagement ratio will determine whether your post moves or not to phase two. The bot sends your post in the next nine hours to your second degree connections. Here the algorithm looks at your network engagement with your content and determines if you're spamming or not. Phase three. The bot takes it to your third degree connections after a review at LinkedIn HQ. Count between 24 and 36 hours for that phase. Phase 4. The editorial team reviews your post for product development at HQ and may include it in other channels. So let me give you 8 tips to have a better LinkedIn distribution. Tip 1. Tag people that have good engagement and are relevant to the post. Tip 2. Avoid tagging second or third degree connections. Tip 3. Avoid external links in your post. And if you have to use one, use the hack I'm going to give you later on. Tip 4. Ask questions in comments in order to make people engage with the post. Tip 5. Write to a specific audience. Tip 6. Use key Keywords. Tip 7. Unlike Instagram, less hashtags are better. And finally, tip 8. You should experiment on this, but 9 to 11 a.m. is usually the best time to post. About the days to post your stuff. You should always experiment and optimize, but usually the sweet spot is Tuesday just before lunch. Why? Because your post will still be visible for your first degree connections at 5 or 6 p.m., but it will also fade away during the week for your second and third degree connections. Side note, if you're targeting the US, you should know that 80% of the users are located in central and eastern time. So think about that when you schedule your post. So let's talk about what changed on the platform over the last few months. Explosion of video use, new automation tools and hacks, changes in the group's management and layout, new way to share your professional journey, voice messaging, LinkedIn kudos, like almost every social media platform, QR codes, and of course, changes in the algorithm. But if there's one thing that hasn't changed in IOTA, it's this. The most important thing on LinkedIn is value. By continually giving value to your network, you save them time and you build authority in your market. Don't forget that employees' profiles are 10 times more powerful than company pages. So how do you do this? What's working for me is scheduling everything. If you actually want to do lead generation and social selling, follow these six steps. Number one, define your niche. Two, connect with your niche. Three, offer them value by commenting in a pertinent manner. Four, offer them value by answering the messages and comments. Five, offer them value by publishing targeted content and then pitch them your stuff. This is how my value creation posts look like. As you can see, I'm shamelessly taking advantage of four things. What's currently working on LinkedIn, native videos, super catchy headlines, copy and eye bait emojis, usually using a hot color and a cold one. 
hashtags, and a summary of the shared content. So now, let me give you a couple of hacks and tricks to enhance your presence on LinkedIn. How can I post an external link without killing my reach? Simple. First, write your update. Second, put the link into the comments. Third, copy the link of the comment itself. Four, put this link within your update. It will look like a super long link, but as soon as you edit, it will be shorter. The hack does something quite nice. It opens a new window, automatically scrolls down to the comment containing your link and even highlights the comment in blue. Nifty, right? How can I connect with thought leaders? Add a note to the connection request, which is polite, pertinent, professional, personalized, and praiseful. If I insist on praiseful, that's because I don't want you to write, I love your work, I'd like to connect with you. Instead, you can check out the template I've included in the downloadable resource at this link. But if you want to be even more accurate in the way you connect with people and talk to them, let me give you one of my favorite LinkedIn tools. Crystal Knows gives you a description of the person you're trying to reach, what you should and should not do when talking to them, and even some templates on how to contact them. So check this one out. It's completely scary and efficient. When I appear more in a specific connections feed, send that person a private message. When you message people on LinkedIn, the algorithm puts your post on their feed more often. You have a common name and your LinkedIn handle does not please you? Go to the URL section and change your handle in 10 seconds. Wanna stop redirecting people towards your competition? Remove the people also viewed section in your privacy settings. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want some more hacks, you can download a LinkedIn playbook at this link. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.